Hello. Time for another poem. Um, so I wrote this one ages ago. I started writing poetry. Well, I'd be dibble dabbled a little bit, but I probably started writing when I was training to be a primary school teacher and I was bored in the lectures. And then I went into education and I saw that we were kind of doing that on a mass scale to all of our children and a lot of them were a bit bored too and uh, the more I got into it the more I realised now um, that loads of us if not all of us are aware of this massive imbalance that's going on between the academic side and the other side of education, the other being the arts and the drama and the music and the compassion and the connection and the awe and the wonder and the creative uh, searching for for helping our helping all of our children to find their their individuality and their creativity which is which is in all of us and I'm writing my masters right now to, about exactly that um, so I think that's why I write my poems to uh, put a little bit of zing and um, and spark back into their lives and and help them find it in themselves too so yeah this one is called uh, superpower science they make us learn about science. I'd much rather hear about giants. Forget electricity, teach invisibility. Please don't teach about energy for hours. Spend that time developing our superpowers. I'd much rather know how I can become Spider-Man than learn how an electric current runs through a Coke can. Teach me how to fly, not the exact number of pi. I don't care about magnetism. Walking through walls is my favourite magicism. I love the sun, the earth and the stars, but I'd much rather learn about telepathy by far. If you're telling me all these weird and wonderful facts, then all these other things are possible. Did you think about that? If gravity exists and space physics are possible, then me becoming Superboy is also very probable. Just teach me the right things, not all the normal nonsense. We'll all discover our superpowers. Don't worry about the consequence. <laughs>